A case if Jamie Lang's Jamie Dodgers can buy him something nice, then I'm going to buy myself something nice. And I picked up some Spanners from Lidl. Meister, same ones that did the Aldi ones that time actually. Meister uh, Powerfix Offset Spanners. So we'll take a look at those. Alright, so I'll take a look at the Lidl Powerfix Meister. Uh, it just says ring spanners, but they're actually um, offset uh, ring spanners. As you can see, opposed to the uh, your usual ring spanner. That is obviously so if you've got um, a nut that's uh, say it's a, a nut that's here next to um, a raised a, a raised part or a a, f um, a, f a, sh a formed piece of uh, sheet metal, say, that's got a raise in it, and there's a fixing right next to it up against the other side, and it's blocked from access this side. You can't get to it with a regular spanner that side, but um, you can obviously use the uh, the deep from this side, the deep well. To actually, to actually reach that fixing with uh, with one of these, as you can see the way it's uh, shaped there. Obviously, these days you can get away with doing that with a ratchet and a socket, but there are uh, times where you can't get a thick-headed ratchet uh, together with its the width of it together with its socket in a in a certain position. So uh, they do come in handy. I've got the odd um, deep. deep Deep uh, ring spanner, but I haven't really got a haven't really got a set. So I did pick these up. They were cheap in there. Uh, I think they were uh, shy, just shy of a fiver. I think just shy of five pounds. Um, so I, I, I did I did um and ah, Do I need them? Then I went back and I put them in. I thought, well, yeah. You never know. There might be times when uh, you can't get you can't fit a ratchet and uh, and a socket in there. So uh, you might as well have a, a cheap set. They're hardly ever going to be used, so you know I don't need to spend a, a vast amount of money. So perhaps they'll be ideal. So one thing I notice, it does come in the rack. It is a real pain to get that out. Uh, you can get that out and flip that over. Now, like I said, if you remember the um, the Aldi Work Zone um, spanners that we looked at before, which were made by Meister. Um, these are the uh, these are the same Meister um, company that they've used to uh, make the uh, the little Powerfix stuff as well as Aldi works on. So it's the same brand. So I'm expecting them to be pretty much the same thing. Um, see in there. Deep offset. And obviously you've got the other size, the next size down on the other side, um, and that goes stacked down from top to bottom. So you got this is a, a twenty-two. And a 20. So you've got all the same uh, notification there as you have on the um, on the Aldi one. It's all the same. Basically, it's just come from the same place. I think we've already established that a lot of the Aldi and the little stuff is from exactly the same uh, exactly the same places. You got your VPA there. Uh, Standards, and I'll just bring the sizes up there. You got a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and I finish in with the twenty-two. So those are the ring sizes you've got. Obviously, stepping one on one end. <coughs> Take a look at the mid size.
So again, like the Aldi one, it's just Crown Vanadium on there, but you know, uh, you're probably not expecting it to be too brilliant, but uh, you know, it should be better than a, a lot of them just deep forged cheap ones that you can get. Um, I think we'll take a look at the smaller one because we're just going over the same ground, ground over and over again, just with a different size, really, something like this. There we go. So, like I say. Around about the home and the workshop, they should, uh, and in the garage, they should, uh, you know, prove to be okay. They'll be very rarely used, me personally. Um, like I say, most of the time, I probably use um, use a ratchet and a and a socket for uh, for the same thing. Like I say, now I've got got one of them out. You can see if you've got a you've got a fix in that's uh, that's here up against. Um, a raised side and it's, it's blocked off from this side you can only get to it from this side and you can drop down with that deep uh, set offset head you can drop down and get to it from that side uh, where with a regular with a regular spanner obviously you can't get there because it's blocked and you're blocked from this side because there's obstacle there um, but like I say, with a, with, with a socket and a, a ratchet, you can reach it the same way. But it, it just depends. Sometimes uh, the gap for you to get the or the height of the gap as well that, um, might only be enough to get a spanner in, and not a big thick uh, socket and a big thick ratchet head. So sometimes they are still needed. Uh, very rarely, but. Uh, but that's what they are. Basically, they're exactly the same uh, composition as the, uh, the the Aldi Work Zone Meister ones that we looked at. The case that it comes with um, looks like that. Basically, the case they just slot in. You got a a flap that locks, but you can actually remove that. You uh, you just bend those tabs out a little bit. You can just remove it. It's up to you. Um, and stick that in your uh, in a toolbox like that, basically with, with the lid off. So it's basically a, a bit of a quick video. Nothing too much to say about them. Uh, some basic chrome vanadium imp import, I would say. Uh, offset sp deep offset spanners that are um, you know put through some European uh, third party standards. Got your GS there. And that's about it. I'd say they were fine for around the home, home, um, you know, home car maintenance things like that. Can't really, can't really speak for them. In um, they probably, they probably be fine um, in an engineer in an engineer's box. But like everyday car maintenance, you know, where you really uh, consistently give them some stick, um, you know, that's 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 not for me to say. Pro probably wouldn't, uh, you know, last too long at that, but. Some of you out there will probably give that a, a try for yourself. Would uh, would probably know better about that. But you know, it's it's no good all the while saying that just because something's cheap, it's not going to uh, it's not going to hold the rigors of uh, you know of auto work all the time. But you know, it's for you to test that out. But you know, you can have a fair idea that around the home, in the garage. I mean, toolmaker wise, engineering wise, I, I would say they'd be fine. Even um, you know, even assembly and maintenance, um, and ele electromechanical fitting, thing, anything like that, I'd, in the toolbox, I, I reckon they'd be okay. So they'd only really be used every now and again. And you, like I say, you'd probably be using a ratchet and a socket most of the time. But, but um, you'd probably like a, a more more expensive, more professional set anyway. But for around the home, I'd say they're fine.